Totally accurate battle simulator has been out for a while. Why is it just now we're getting custom maps on the workshop? What is this weird island? Why? It's a battle in the ocean. This is just one of the many of new custom maps that we're gonna see in today's episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, I, this guy, I don't know what this guy's deal is. He kind of reminds me of like the weird crab-armed guy from the Powder Puff Girls. Mixed with like Meta Knight from Kirby. <laughs> Mixed with Cthulhu. But look at this. We have all of these custom units, including the Kraken. Oh, the Kraken is huge. But we also have like an army of seahorses, which is amazing because look, these guys don't have legs. They actually have seahorse bodies. This is a map by the Chaos Owl, who apparently might be one of the best modders that I've ever seen. So look at this. We've got a shield wall of Poseidon's sea. Wait, they're sea centaurs. Because a centaur is a man on a horse, so a man on a seahorse <laughs> is a sea centaur? Aquatic custom map. Look at this, the aquatic is breaking the game. Okay, I will place the sea custom map. <laughs> okay, let's get the Kraken. The tide protector? Oh yeah, the tide protector is definitely gonna be fighting the Kraken. There's a thing called a clam cannon. Oh yeah, and Triton are the cavalry. That's so amazing. So just how powerful is the mighty Kraken? Oh, I like how he's got like these little tentacles whipping out of his head. He's got, uh, is he throwing up chains or, or are those just more tentacles? Or is, uh, is that the way he pulls out his poo poo? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a Krakenologist. A Krakenologist. That sounds kind of funny. Sir, what do you study? Oh, you do, you do crack. Ins. Krakens, yeah. Triton! Oh, he's putting swords in Kraken's eyeballs. Kraken, what do you even do? It looks like you're like fires coming out of your eyeballs. Now this is the angler fish and it looks incredible. Are these just some of the best units you've ever seen? I am absolutely blown away. Uh, not by the Kraken's animations, clearly. He looks amazing. The angler fish looked even better. The aquatic armies and their new custom map are here. Oh my, this island isn't regular sand, it's quicksand. I was gonna put a hundred pirates in here and have them surrounded by Tide Protector, the Angler Shark, and a whole army of Tritons. But the pirates are, are still in here. See, honestly, I really think Tab should make a custom map creator. Oh my gosh, are these guys just dying? Are they throwing up their guns? Oh, they throw them up because they fired. The Angler Shark, it, it's amazing what people are able to do with their creativity in the current edition of uh, the Tabs Workshop, which I think is sort of limited. Really good at making units, but you can't make vehicles and you can't make custom maps. But we know the maps that we have already, right? But look at this. There's an extra page of maps. And on this extra page, we've got, well, Denmark. This is a map from like the original alpha version of Tabs that you can't really play anymore because it was updated. This map is so nostalgic for me because I remember back in the old day, what is it, 2017 all over again? When we would do custom battles as per your suggestions that you guys would leave in the comments. And we'd be like, let's recreate D-Day Invasion of World War II. Map, Denmark, attacking force like 20 Viking boats defending a bunch of Katusha rocket launchers that are going to be represented. Man, who remembers those days in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? Like, those were the days. It's crazy to see how far we've come since then. But we did that on these old maps. But we have even more maps than just the Badlands in Denmark. We've also got the different Japanese levels. The Neon map? Oh, man. I remember the Neon map. This is a pretty good recreation of it. We had some pretty amazing and legendary battles. Do you guys remember how troops would run and climb up this sheer face so you could put soldiers up here and have them fight? I remember putting like musketeers up here. And then you'd put like a wave of peasants, like a hundred peasants. Or even better yet, the Viking headbutters. I'm getting hit with all of the nostalgia today. And then they were supposed to run up. Let's see if they can do that on this new custom map. Where old is new again. Neon. No, they can't do it. Old tabs they could. New tabs you have this. Oh my gosh. It still kicks out the cubes. Do they explode? 
They kind of do. Okay, that's impressive. We need to test this out. Delete the Red Army. The First Order. Oh man, those movies were so bad. But the way I said it just reminded me of it. King Triton, lend me your Tritons. Isn't King Triton from like Little Mermaid? Okay, look at this. The cube in slow motion is really jittery. I wonder how they did it. It's wildly impressive that they were. But once it hits, it's supposed to explode and actually kill the units around it. So does it do it in slow motion? And normally, like, when it got touched by something, it would start, like, flexing, squirming. What is the word I'm looking for? It would... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Is it going to explode? Oh, it works. It kills them. Unbelievable. Wait, I think it does. More testing is required, my lord. Nope. Oh, that guy just fell over and died. Two of them did. Cubes, explode. Boom. How did they do this? Oh my god. The neon map is back. And it's better than ever. See, this is what Tabs needs. Map mod support. Because then you can make crazy maps that spit out explosive cubes. People are also messing around with tower defense. Give us the ability to do even more. This is what, quote, sandbox mode in tabs is all about. Oh, man. Scotland. I mean, I put out, a, I think, somewhere between one and 200 videos on Totally Aka Battle Simulator on my channel. We'd have battles where we'd be like, oh, I want to see Napoleon fight Alexander the Great. So we would set up these custom armies and just have them duke it out. What is it about old classic tabs? Maybe it's nostalgia. Nostalgia is a powerful thing, we have to remember. But the battles were incredible. Maybe it was just the way I felt about the battles then. When tabs was just so new. Look at this, man. These musketeers are wrecking them. I think, what, only two musketeers died so far. <laughs> Make that, what, three. That's incredible. Well, uh, Napoleon wins this one. And we'd do crazy things, wouldn't we? Where in the old days, we would create musket lines and cannons, and we'd have them fight headbutters, which we called velociraptors because they ran so fast. And then Will one day must have seen that meme and was like, you know what? I'm gonna put real velociraptors in the game. And here we go. This is... We're bringing the old tabs back, boys and girls. We're bringing it back. Oh, these raptors are gonna mess things up. Assuming they don't get wrecked or just get caught on this fence. But that could actually work for them. It could protect them. Leave them the opportunity to jump in and eat these people alive. Well, they would be alive until they were dead, which fourth they would be eaten. We shall eat them dead, but they'll be alive first, right? Well, raptors definitely look like they win. There's only a few cannons left. They did not adhere to the terrain constraints very well. But that's not all. We've got more maps. We have one of the best ones. Sahara had a secret on it. And I'm very curious to see if it still does. So what you could do, if you sacrifice the unit to fall in the spike pit, does it have spikes? It does. Then a giant plague would spew forth out of it. Oh my God, it does. I just got chills. Are you kidding me? How? Who? The plague is back. And it would pick one team arbitrarily. I guess it depends on whoever sacrificed themselves, right? I think it was random though. Let's do another test. So who's gonna hit down first? Let's let's observe this. It looks like blue's actually gonna, well, that'd be my money. Blue falls first. He's a little bit lower. Red's a little bit taller. Yeah, blue's going down. Down, down, down to the spike pit. So let's test this theory. If he's a blue sacrifice, then he will join the blue army. I mean like the lost like plague. But in the old tabs, it would spew forth an attack. This one, this is actually like a diversion. We're still in slow motion, so bear with me. We need to see this in slow motion, so... Yes! There it is. It looks like he just had some bad chili. Man, it just spewed forth. Okay, Blue made the sacrifice. Then he joins Blue's forces, and everybody just dies. What is it? I don't know. It doesn't look exactly like the one from original tabs, but this is so good, it's wildly impressive. Now what we gotta do is see just how many it can kill. And this time we won't go in slow motion, no. I wanna see a conga line of death. Wait a minute, okay. Conga line of death, how? It just follows them. It does diverge. 
It doesn't follow them perfectly. It, it, it does appear to be organic. Is it? Is it like locusts? Nanobots? What could it, like, uh, demons? Wait a minute, these red guys were all alive. Oh, the blue forces died first. They were pretty close to the plague. This is amazing. The fact that this is here. Desert and hills look pretty standard. Japan won. Oh my nostalgia. The bridges. Units would get stuck in these trenches and fight for days. And we would put units up on these hills and have them get attacked by the headbutting velociraptors. Oh my goodness. This is nuts. So much is just flooding back to me. Let's send in the halflings. We didn't have halflings at the time, but we do now. I want to see 200. Oh, my frame rates. The lighting is definitely weirder in modern tabs, or at least these custom maps compared to old ones. Maybe it's because we... No, we do have a skybox, don't we? Oh. Oh, hello there, skybox. Aren't you strange? Maybe it's the skybox, but this actually, like, it hurts my eyeballs a little bit. Look at this. The little hobbits are getting stuck in the trenches. Oh, I love it. This is just classic tabs. Nobody's stuck on the hill. We can fix that. Modern problems require modern solutions. So what we need to do is go to the legacy and get flag bearers and tell the men to hold position. Defend Weathertop. Everyone must stay in line. We'll put some men over here too. These ones will be poachers. Oh, poachers, I miss you. Those were like only in like the original builds of tabs. I don't even think they made it into like the version that was available like for press on Steam for like, oh, what was that, three years? Two years? I think it was two and a half years. Blew my mind. All right, so the poachers aren't very good at sticking in formation. Honestly, none of the units are very good at staying in formation and listening to the commanding officers with their flags. But do you remember? Do you guys remember the ancient Japan maps? Ah, oh, tabs, man. It's come so far and Apparently, the developers are saying that there are still some updates that they have planned. Now, they did work on tabs for like, I don't know, five years, so they're probably a little bit tired of it, but the fact that we still have some stuff on the roadmap does bode well for us. I'm gonna advocate for map support for as long as I can. One day, I'll be telling my grandkids that I wanted a tabs map maker, and they're like, I'm like, Dad, Granddad, you're going crazy. I'm like, you dang right I am. All I do is fart all day. But what other maps? Scotland winner, Scotland 2. Neon has got to be the best. Japan 3. There's also these new simulation ones. We have green simulation and night simulation. We're going to have night battles where we're going to have one punch man fight an army of farmers at night. I mean, I guess it's sort of a night. Oh, well, okay. We got a big moon. Oh, it does look like... Wait. Oh, I thought that was a planet for a second. No, it's just a guy flying away. That moon does look like the one from the Halloween maps, doesn't it? Man, I, I would never want to have to fight one punch man in my life. So if we go to the workshop and search map and then filters subscribers all time, map test by ee and then try to play it, it breaks the game. IDK question mark, neither do I. Oh, there's the castle map. D-Day map with pillboxes. Desert custom map. Oh, Chaos Owl strikes again. I don't know how he does it, but the man is able to make, what is this? Some strange totem of doom? Is this a sandworm from like, Dune? That's a weird looking one. All right, I have to fight him. Let's fight with the Egyptian warriors. We've got Hades tomb tower, mech juggernauts, the flesh beast? Oh. <gasps> Okay, that's a Sarlacc pit. In a desert walker? Oh, yeah. And some Egyptian warriors. Fight! The sandworm! Oh, man, it's basically like ATSDs out here. The custom maps and tabs are pretty nuts. Oh, man. These things look amazing. They're like steampunk, kinda. Or maybe even diesel punk. They just fire these bombs. What else is there to attack? What's over here? Something's moving. Uh, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, he's marching. It's it's like a witch doctor. And oh, what is this? Oh, I thought he was like being a DJ. No, it's just a guy at an item shop with a sawed-off shotgun, looking like Lawrence of the Arabia. Okay. And witch doctor's dead. ATSDs move in. Destroy this illegal weapons merchant. 
Because, you know, we don't want soldiers running around with bear traps. All saw-like. It's kind of a uh, impending doom. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Tabs. Guys, most importantly of all is that the neon map is back. And it's throwing out explosions. I don't know how it's possible. The desert map has the plague. It's incredible. A map making mod or map making support in tabs would be would bring about another renaissance. It is exactly what tabs needs. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Behold the god of neon.